guess what? Today we're talking about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Yeah, dude, sex. Woohoo! Sex? Oh my god, so fun. Okay, not that kind of sex. That comes later in the series. I'm talking about physiological sex. You know, what your body looks like, what you got going on in your pants, the metaphorical junk in your metaphorical trunk. In our society, we give physical sex a lot of weight that it shouldn't have. When a baby is born, we take one look at their body and make all kinds of assumptions about who they are, what they will like, and who they will love. But did you know that sex and gender aren't the same thing? That's right, being male and being a man are two different concepts entirely. Let's break it down. The terms male, female, and intersex refer to your sex, what your body looks like. Whereas the terms man, woman, genderqueer, and agender are about your gender identity, about how you feel. What your body looks like and how you feel are two different things altogether. It's like wearing glasses and liking Star Wars. Sure, a lot of people who like Star Wars also wear glasses, but you can't know that someone likes Star Wars just because they're wearing glasses. Unless they're dressed up like Darth Vader and wearing glasses, you can't make any assumptions about their Star Wars preferences at all. Sex and gender work like that too. Just because someone's sex is female doesn't mean that they also identify as a woman. And just because someone's sex is male doesn't mean that they identify as a man. Why? Because, because sex, sex and, and gender, gender are two, two different, different things. things. Exactly. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.